Hello, welcome to video number 40. Mm -hmm. This is the Honorable Mr. Lewis. Yep. I'm the Honorable Mr. Miller. And this is about angles associated with parallel lines. Okay. So, Mr. Lewis, one of the fundamental assumptions of geometry is that corresponding angles are congruent. That's a fact that we accept. Yeah. If you believe that, then we can prove things like alternate interior angles are congruent, same side exterior angles are supplementary, all these other facts can be proven from the fact that corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, and we're almost done with our proof unit. I know. Next is something totally different. All right, so here's an example. Uh, we're going to show that if angle two is congruent to angle six, which I know you're saying, that's true because they're corresponding. Well, right. we're assuming that's an assumption. Mm -hmm. So, assuming those two are congruent, we're going to show that uh, 2 and 8 are supplementary. All right. So, 2 and 8 are same side interior angle. So we're going to show that if the corresponding ones are congruent, then the same side exterior angles are congruent. That's kind of the idea. Mm -hmm. So, here's the plan. Uh, we know that the measure of angle 6 plus the measure of angle A equals 180. Yeah. Because they form a line. I'm with you. And we know that angle 2 and angle 6 are congruent. That right. was kind of the, our assumption. So we can substitute. Okay. And then, so if we substitute, we put 2 in for 6. We have the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 8 equals 180. That's what we wanted to show. Okay, so assuming that 2 and 6 are congruent, we can show 2 and 8 add to 180. All right. All right. So what we have to do is just fill in the reason. Okay. So kind of, I think in the quiz coming up, pretty much this is what you're going to have to do, fill in the reason. Okay. All right, so you probably don't have to worry about coming up with the whole proof on our own. All right, 2 is congruent to 6. That's the best reason in the world, Mr. Lewis. Yeah, that one's just given to me. Love it. Given. What does all get given? Give me all the math you want. Yeah. Now, this is something that may seem a little strange at first, but kind of a technical point. Mm -hmm. If 2 is congruent to 6, that means their measures are equal. So we're going to go from a statement about shapes, angle 2 is congruent to angle 6, to a statement about numbers, right? Their degrees. So that's the definition of congruence. That's what congruence means. Their measures are equal, and that's what the little m means. The measure of angle two equals the measure of angle six. Now we're talking about numbers. All right. Measure six plus measure eight equals one eighty. Did you mark those two in the figure? Yeah. So just to remind ourselves, that's kind of where our plan started. Right. Those. Those and add up to 1A because they are a linear pair. Yeah, so linear pair, let's say, sum equals 180. Very good. That's in the reason bank. Yep. Now, what changed in between 3 and 4? Well, it looks like we're putting this 2 for 6. Very good. That's substitution. Right. Like on a team, you put another player in, you uh -huh. take out Derek Rose. Put in Aaron Brooks, or you know, your teacher's gone one day. They just bring in another teacher. That's substitution. Awesome. Okay. Now you might think we're done. We have measure two plus measure of eight equals one eighty. But technically, we're supposed to show that they were supplementary. Right. So after we show that their measures add up to one eighty, now we can say they're supplementary by definition of supplementary angle. All right, so some little, little tiny details. Proofs are very kind of exact business. Yes. Very precise. So saying that measure 2 plus measure 8 equals 180, that's kind of done, but really wanted to say they're supplementary. Mm -hmm. All right. That's example one. We only have two. That'll work for me. You're going to like this one. It's short. Three-step proof. I know. I get, and one of them's given. I know. Look at this. Given. All right, let's discuss the plan first, though. So, like uh, always, it's good to discuss the plan. We're given 3 is congruent to 7. Could you mark those? Yep. So, 3 and 7. 
Again, we're assuming that corresponding angles are congruent. That's mm -hmm. our starting point. We're supposed to show that 3 is congruent to 6. All right. Now, 6 and 7 are vertical. Yes, they are. So if 3 is equal to 7, we could replace 7 with 6. Uh -huh. 3 would be equal to 6. Correct. All right. So our first thing, 3 is congruent to 7. That's given. 6 is congruent to 7. That would be vertical. Yeah. I'm doing so well. Angles are congruent. Awesome. Now, if 3 is equal to 7, and 6 is equal to 7, 3 is congruent to 6. Yep. That's called the transitive property. Transitive. So, I don't know if this has come up before. So, let's write it down here. If angle A, if angle A is congruent to, oh, we can just use it. Okay. Uh, use a congruent symbol. Yeah. Is congruent to angle B and angle B is congruent to angle C. That means A and C are congruent. And angle A is congruent to angle C. All right, so here's an example. Suppose I was the same age as Mr. Lewis. Ha! Uh, all right. And Mr. Lewis is the same age as Mr. Shoreham, who refuses to be in this video. That means we would all be the same age, right? Correct. If our ages are equal, and your age is equal to Mr. Shoreham, then we're all equal. That's kind of this idea of transitive property. A is congruent to B, B is congruent to C, then A and C are congruent. Fancy name, transitive. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll practice this, and you'll get used to supplying the reason. So uh, uh, it won't be too bad. No. Mr. Lewis, it can be too bad another great video, I would say. Yeah. Oh, it always ends with the journal assignment. That's so here you go. Mr. Lewis, could you mark those angles? It says given angle four and eight. Four and eight. Bam. Another pair of Bam. corresponding angles. So you're going to start assuming that those are congruent, and you're going to follow the proof to show that four and seven are supplementary. Mm -hmm. All right. All the angles are in the reason bank. Good luck. All right.